Now we're going to talk about total addressable market, what it is, why we do it, how it fits in overall with our process, and then lastly, how actually to do it. Well, we, we now know the beachhead market and the end user profile. That's given us enough specificity to make an initial TAM calculation for our beachhead market. The TAM is the amount of annual revenue expressed in dollars per year that you, your business would get if it achieved 100% market share in your beachhead market. The goal is not to write down a big number to impress others, but to develop a defensible number that you and your team really believe in. This is very important. Entrepreneurs tend to have tremendous enthusiasm and inflate the TAM. Don't do that. Why is that? Why is a big number not necessarily better? Well, I think this is important to understand. You can't boil the ocean. You have limited resources. You're looking for a market that's big enough for you to achieve critical mass. It's a market where we, you'll develop the key capabilities that will allow you to expand into other markets. It will allow you to get to cash flow positive so you can start to control your own destiny and prove to outside investors, if that's what you want, that you have a sustainable business. But if the market's too big, you'll likely get overwhelmed by competition and not have sufficient resources to compete. So you'll either not succeed or you'll have to be in a position where you raise a lot of money without a track record to prove to potential investors to assess, to, to assess you. You actually haven't dominated a market yet. So pick a market that you can dominate. To calculate TAM, you primarily use a bottoms-up analysis not a tops-down analysis. The tops-down analysis will be used as a sanity check or to complement the research that you're doing. The bottoms-up analysis has to do with going out and what I say is counting noses, finding out exactly who those people are. And then you've got this from your primary market research. And once you've identified how many there are that fit your end user profile, you have a very good start. You're very specific and you know where each customer is and how much they're going to spend. Um, a top-down analysis starts with getting reports from places like Forrester, um, Gartner, or Yankee Group, and then you can kind of check to see how many users there are that meet your characteristics. But it's, it's, it's imperfect. Um, no one's done the report that you really want yet. So if you do too much top-down analysis, you're going to end up kind of locked in spreadsheets. And I have never seen a customer hiding in a spreadsheet cell. Once we've counted the number of, uh, of users out there who will fit our end user profile, that homogenous group, now we're going to determine how much they spend on average per year. And then this becomes our, our TAM. We're going to multiply the revenue per end user by the number of users, and that gives us the TAM. Pretty straightforward. The initial TAM of 20 million to 10 million is a good target. Um, a market of over $1 billion to me raises flags that it's too big, as we talked about before. Anything less than $5 million will make it difficult to really, I believe, achieve critical mass if you're going to be ambitious. And it won't prove to investors, if you need to raise money outside, that it's a worthy opportunity. Um, it's really a niche of a niche market in that case. But an initial TAM of $5 million could be a good thing if you can truly capture that market quickly and it has high margin because you're very likely to be ca cash flow positive then in that market and establish a good beachhead market that you can then build off. So the key factors in how to determine the size are the profitability of that market, the speed with which you can capture it, and how that positions you going forward. And if you can ultimately achieve dominant market share, all of this will make it an attractive market. So that's the, to that's the total addressable market calculation, a very important calculation that we're going to build off going forward. And it's a good sanity check, again, back to what you chose with your beachhead market.